These are Harley, and I'm Gary McNamara. Let's talk more about whistleblowers with Dan in California. Dan, welcome. You're on Red Eye Radio. Hi, Dan. Gentlemen, good morning. Um, the more I listen to this conversation, the more angry I'm becoming. The reason why is twofold. One, um, these brave people, these brave men, the FBI, they're whistleblowers, and uh, we're, we're like what happened to them. If they're saying that their higher ups are threatening their livelihoods and their jobs, the, the obvious answer question, the follow up question from Jim Jordan and the Republicans is who? I want names. I want to know who these people are. I want these people brought before this committee to say, why did you do this? And the reason, the second reason is because back in the day, back in the Obama years, I was part of the Tea Party conservative groups that were harassed like you can't believe, especially by the IRS. Our computers were hacked into, we were looked at by every agency you could possibly think of. That was, oh God, 10, 11 years ago, maybe longer. The lowest, I am still looking for justice. Right, the lowest learner uh, situation with the IRS, going after conservative uh, groups. Well, I'll tell you this, I'm not sure uh, uh, when the whistleblowers come forward, what the process is of getting other people, Thanks, to, yeah, of, of getting other people to testify. I don't know if because uh, we know. I don't know about these whistleblowers, but other whistleblowers. Eventually, uh, the uh, the inspector general is the one that starts an investigation on it. Correct, Eric? Uh, uh, yes, uh, it, it it can go to the direct supervisor, but if they believe. The whistleblower, and, and, and we're led to believe from the stories, in fact, I think in all the cases, that they're concerned about the behavior of the supervisors, then it goes directly to the IG, and then the IG uh, has the discretion as to whether or not approach Congress. The IG can go to Congress. I don't know about oversight and what oversight can get from the IG, except for a, maybe a report down the road. I don't know if they can, I don't know what uh, subpoena power they have. I, I'm I'm sure in the, the whistleblower statement that the management has been identified. Yeah. Now, yeah. maybe yeah. not publicly, but I'm assuming that Jim Jordan knows who it is or the inspector, because or the inspector, if his inspector general yeah. is involved in it of the Department yeah. of Justice, which would be horrible, right? Uh, I'm yeah, I think, it's, I think it's still a horrible check. Yeah. Right. And and so, uh, if he's doing an investigation, they know because they're going through the, you know, they're, they're going through the statement. Right. You know, my boss told me this. But now, when it comes to uh, putting out their names, I don't know if there's anything that's limiting Jordan from doing it. I don't believe there would be to ask that question, who is this person, then answering that question to get them to testify you know that's going to be a pretty long process because yes. the, the yeah yeah because the fbi is going to say the fbi is going to say well this is a personnel matter and we don't discuss person even if they came forward this is a personnel matter and we don't discuss personnel matters ideally you would want a an ig report on this you would want the entire process to have played out and the IG to have taken whatever measures uh, possible, then the follow through with oversight and all that, in order to get the, you know, the, 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 the entire package as a whole and then have hearings on that. Problem is, is that the IG report can take a long time. There really is, I don't know of any time limit that an IG would have in order uh, it, it, on issuing a report in a case like this. Because it's different than the IG taking on their own investigation internally. Um, it is in part that, but the idea here in the whistleblower protection process is that you're protecting that whistleblower at every step. And so you're looking into the claims of somebody else and so the IG is kind of doing the work basically assigned by those claims those allegations that uh, from the whistleblower you know so the, the process could take I don't know how long because it depends I think it depends on how far you go back 
And the IG, uh, the IG only has access to uh, people in the FBI. Uh, people that are right, currently still there. And so if anybody, if any, in terms of interviewing them, if anybody uh, steps down or leaves the FBI before the IG is done, that will change things. But I, look, I'm with the caller. I, I, I think uh, what Dan said, I mean, I, I share in that frustration and that growing anger. This can't happen. If you're on the left, this, you don't want this to happen under any administration. But the problem is, is that the Democratic Party and the operatives and the activists on the left have helped to build the mentality in the rank and file, in the minds of the rank and file, that yes, this is how we behave. This is what we do. You win at any cost. And if conservatives are showing up to school board meetings, we're going to stomp it out. It's a threat to our agenda. And that's who they are. So they Driving built out this mentality of, here. nope, we own a it. Black driver. And we'll come after you. Yep. And they tried to use driver. that mentality in part well, of course yesterday during the hearing.